Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing some very luxurious jewelry. So if you guys like Cartier, stick around. So I have two little boxes here. I'm going to show you the standout piece first because it kind of complements the second piece that I got. Um, so I got the box, I got the um, certificate and I'll show you guys these boxes are so special. This is a bracelet if you guys didn't know. Uh, I have have been thinking about this bracelet for a really long time and I was in Cartier a couple of weeks ago and I absolutely fell in love with this bracelet which is why I've been thinking about it for a while but I actually saw it in real life and was like wow 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 I need this this is the box which is incredible this box even has like a foam piece down the bottom to factor in the little button pin clip um, and if you guys watch my stories, you would have seen this. Ah! Oops. This is the nail bracelet. Am I saying it right, guys? The Justy You Clue. I am so bad at French. I really wish I studied it in school. But now it's just past the time. And anyway. I will put the name on screen, but you guys know it as the nail bracelet. This one is the one with um, the Parve diamonds halfway around the bracelet, looking very, very bougie. I'm going to have to take this out. That's it there and the closure is actually quite tricky. It took me a while to figure it out. You have to press it in and it comes out of the head of the nail. So like this, let me do it so you can see. Sort of see there, the nail kind of comes out and it sort of goes in and clips into here. But it is just beautiful. This has got all the stamping and everything as well. It's also stamped AU750, which I believe is 18 karat gold. You can sort of see at the bottom right here is where the stamping is. And we've got the Cartier over here and then the AU750 on that side. The diamond component is this sort of top half. It's absolutely gorgeous, really sparkly. And you can kind of see it's also on the tip, which is gorgeous. And then halfway down it stops and it's just the gold absolutely gorgeous 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 i cannot wait to wear this i've got just the event in a couple of weeks i'm heading down to sydney with my mum and we're going to a very special draw at the star where they'll be drawing a rolex that's right an authentic rolex um so there it is on This, these studio lights are not doing this bracelet justice. I do say this all the time. I only really have one ring light on me um, and a side light and it doesn't really show the sparkle like it would if it was outside somewhere. So if I have um, some shots, I will insert them here of this bracelet outside or really under some nicer lights. So that's box number one and box number two. Um, both of these came with ribbon as well, but I don't know what I've done with it. Um, 
because I've had a look at them so many times. So I've obviously misplaced it somewhere. And this is the Cartier box, the second one. This one also has the foam piece down the bottom for the little clip. And can you guys have a guess what's in here? Pause the video, comment below, have a guess. I bought this bracelet. And of course I had to buy the matching ring. Yes, I did. Now, you guys will be like, ah, oh, looks kind of like the one I've seen online, but then it doesn't. I'll tell you why it doesn't, because there are two versions of this ring. Recently, when I was in Cartier, I actually tried on this ring in the thinner version. There is a thin version and a thick version. And when I tried on the thinner version, my fingers, I've told you guys, I've got chunky, chubby fingers. It just completely drowned the ring and you could barely even see it. Even the Diamante version. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I tried on this one. Yeah, with the, um, the diamonds all the way around. So this is not just in the, in the center or in the in half of it this is all the way around so i said to the guy oh you know i like it but i don't love it because it's just so small and delicate and he goes yeah we remade the delicate ring we made it more delicate because a lot of girls were complaining that it was too chunky so he showed me the chunkier version and i was like yes 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 this chunkier version has got me written all over it. You can actually see the ring, whereas with the thinner version, I just couldn't see it at all. This is diamonds all the way around. This one, I already have fluff attached to it. It's, both these pieces are very um, grippy. They're like Velcro. They grip onto any sort of knit or jumper or anything like that. So if you wear a lot of that, this might catch a little bit. So please be careful. Um, same with the Parve. The way the Parve is sort of done. I'm going to show you guys together. So if you think that this ring is a little bit too chunky for you guys, they also have the thinner version and they also have the white gold version. So the plain without all the um, diamonds on it. I mean, they look absolutely gorgeous. The ring is obviously parveted all the way around. There is fluff on this guys that I just, I wore a jumper the other day when I was trying it on and stupid me. It just went everywhere um, but the crusting on it is so beautiful wow 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 I hope you guys can't see all the fluff that's on it I don't know what's going on there seems to be a new fluff every time I look at it I'm gonna have to like brush them out there's also the Cartier stamping just down here I don't know if you guys can see that and also the code, the AU750 code, which is the gold, 18 karat gold, white gold um, code. This is a size eight. And from what I know, this is the largest size that they have of this ring. Uh, when I was in Cartier, the largest size they stocked for the rings that I was looking at was a size eight. Um, so that's what that is and it fits this hand perfectly um, this hand is actually a little bit bigger than this one this one's about a seven and this one's about an eight so that's pretty much bang on I would say it's a little bit roomier than what I kind of imagined um, just because the style is like an overlapping style I'm absolutely in love with these really simple beautiful pieces what do you guys think? Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on fashion and handbags and head over to my Instagram. I'm really prominent on there with giveaways, polls and a whole lot more. So thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.
Thank you.